celebrated the sacraments. And this is what it's all about. We gather here today and we remember how many times has Father Jim in those 50 years brought people to the church to the sacraments of baptism? How often has he raised a gentle hand in forgiveness in the sacrament of confession? How often has he witnessed the marriage of so many couples in their commitment to each other? How often has he stood beside the bedside of people that are ill and gave them hope and strength in the anointing of the sick? And for those on their final journey to God, the strength of the sacrament of the Lord. Above all, how often he has stood at the altar of God to celebrate the greatest prayer of the church, the celebration of the Mass, word and Eucharist, that gives us all the strength that we need as we journey in life. When you look back over 50 years, it must be with great satisfaction and the strength that God has given to you all those years. To be a priest is challenging at any day, as any form of life is. And to stay committed to Christ and His Church is a tremendous challenge also. And as we witness today, we see the work of one man to the grace of God, what can be accomplished in one's journey of life. And that is what has happened in the life of Father Jim. In the six years that I have been with you at St. Bruno's in Whittier, it's been great. I feel we are a great support to each other. And that's what we need in our priesthood. And that is there. And it is great when I somehow missed the alarm clock for the 6.30 man, I know Father Jim is up here and he will take my place. <laughs> and then we smile and we go on. There are many, many blessings that he has brought to me as a priest in those six years and the encouragement and strength in leadership in the parish. Strength comes from his own experience of leadership as well within the community of the Salvadorians. In England and in various places where he travel, and here in Dublin as well. And so it is, we lift our hearts and minds to God in thanksgiving for one who makes such a difference in our lives. Over 50 people have followed you here from California with your Father Jim, and from a neighboring parish that you work in also in Amarada. They've come because you stand as a great witness for them and for all of us. We welcome each and every one of you from the parish community to the various places you have come. Sister Mary Lau representing in our parish the Sisters of the Lord of the Holy Father from Vietnam and many others. And we all gather with you because it is wonderful to celebrate your life among us as one who loves his priesthood and who never says no when an opportunity comes to share the word of God. You walk around the parish so often. You hear more confessions walking in the driveway of the church <laughs> than you do in the confession. <laughs> or when I can't find you, you're off visiting someone that is sick. Or you're attending the meeting of St. Vincent de Paul. There are so many things that Father Jim is still doing. Retirement is not a word or in his life to be used. Because his priesthood does not come to an end. He loves it and he celebrates it with the people of God that are so important to him. 
And so it is today then that we gather this great family here in now to give thanks to God. A family, too, that has given him great strength over the years. And he always talks about his time, his vacation here at home. Great stories he tells all the time. And one follows the other. He has so much sharing to do. And so it is that today that we realize how the great God has helped him over the years. And how in Psalm 121, how he realized, as the psalmist said, My help comes from the Lord, who made the heavens and the earth. And how he realized in his faith, also from Psalm 121, the Lord will guard you going out and coming in from this time forward and forever. Yes, indeed, our Jim, your golden jubilee is worth celebrating. Your jubilee priesthood, like the apostles, who stand as a witness, a witness to the good news of Jesus Christ. And so today, in this great setting, the setting where you began your life in the church, in this baptismal part, your first communion, your confirmation, your first mass, the 40th anniversary of our the 25th, and here are the 50s, and now we look forward to the 60s. And we pray the Lord that this will give you courage and strength and help to continue the wonderful work already going on in you. Congratulations. God bless you. And thank you.